Gradius 3 was developed by Konami and released in arcades in 1989, which then saw a home release the following year for the Super Nintendo in Japan and in 1991 for North America, which was a launch title for the system. Strangely enough, this game never saw a release in Europe for the Super Nintendo. In case you want to know the plot, you play as the pilot of the Vic Viper to fight against the Bacterian Empire. I think that the visual look of this game is amazing, and some of you notice straight away. The different stages, enemies and bosses look great, and the music is extremely memorable. It definitely grabs your attention. Shout out to Cosmo Plant for being one of my favourite songs in the game. When you start the game, you have a choice of choosing a setup of power-ups from either a set of four, or you can make your own. The power-ups include missile, laser and different types of shields. Your list of power-ups is then displayed at the bottom of the screen, where you cycle through them after collecting power pots from enemies. Sometimes though, you can be focused on so much on what's happening on screen that you may forget to activate an upgrade you want and collect an additional power pod by accident. This means you need to go all the way around again to get the power up you want. Which is, can be really annoying, especially if you're near a boss and there won't be enough power pods until after the boss. Speaking of the upgrades, the game becomes really enjoyable once you've got all your upgrades active and you're just destroying everything in your path. But then you might make a mistake and die, which means you go back to the most recent checkpoint and you don't have your, any of your upgrades. This can make the boss fights and stages seem impossible, especially in later stages which require you to have several speed boost upgrades. One thing I do need to mention is the slowdown. When there's a lot going on screen, it really does slow to a crawl at times. The slowdown can occur even when you're just firing depending on how many upgrades you have. This can work in your favour though if you need to move around and avoid an attack of a boss. There are several difficulty modes and I do recommend starting with easy as it can get difficult and it can be good practice for different layouts of upgrades. Plus, the various difficulty modes can make this very accessible. Also, this game can be played with a friend as well which is nice. Is this game worth adding to your collection and playing? I think so. If you can look past the slowdown issues then I think Gradius 3 is worth it. If you're wondering how much this costs at the time of this recording, using PriceCharting.com, the cartridge by itself costs around £9 and the box version costs around £30 for the US version and around £12 for the cartridge and £18 for the boxed copy of the Japanese version. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have any feedback, leave a comment. I'll see you all in the next video.